in no time. Here's so the far, classic. Have had motion and, and here's the classic why you shouldn't use heat. So we've had an avalanche coming down a mountain with no friction. But in real life, you obviously know we actually have friction. So my question to you is, what is friction? Okay. Well, you all know that if you rub your hands together enough, you'll get some heat. Okay. And Boo. That's because of the friction Boo. Of your hands. Um, what you really have here that is not is right. at the microscopic level, you've got your hands sliding past each other and it causes the molecules down there to start to move and movement in general is what we call heat and that's what Boo. we sense as heat and that's friction. But when you rub your hands together, delta D equals Q plus W, the Q is zero. It's because the work's done, ch causes change in internal energy. That is no good. In the more general sense, friction is anything that really causes something, the, a retardation of the motion. So you have a couch and your living room floor. And then he gets a little bit better. That's why you shouldn't use heat as a noun. He used it to mean internal energy. He used it to mean motion, both of which are false.